was the Prophet ﷺ's mercy, right? He is um, the Prophet of mercy is one of his titles, وسلم, as we will see in the hadith of the Sahih of Muslim, Nabi Rahmah. And that was reference. And Ibn Ali concluded with that, or towards the end of his talk, he referenced that, that we have got to show mercy as the Prophet ﷺ did. And that there are struggles that we experience and we can connect to our Prophet ﷺ by virtue of the fact of his experiencing immense struggles. And actually we could say um, he was the most tried. Right? And that comes in the hadith, the most severely tried of the Prophets and then those who follow them and then those who follow them, meaning more closely. Right? So no matter what trial we experienced, he ﷺ experienced worse. And he is a prophet of mercy and undoubtedly understand that he's more merciful to you in the trial that you're experiencing, the hardship that you're experiencing, than you are to yourself. Right? As Allah said of him, subhanahu, in the end of Surah at tawbah the second to the last verse of Surah at tawbah Azizun alayhi ma'anittum, that your hardship is very difficult for him. Harisun alaykum. He's extremely concerned for you. Bil mu'minina ra'ufu rahim. He is um, compassionate, which is ra'fa is shiddat rahma, extremely merciful and compassionate to the believers. So any difficulty, like those that were described and like those that were not described, Ibn Ali describing losing family members, being orphaned in states of poverty or difficulty or any severity, whether this world, this worldly or otherworldly, from the attributes of this Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that azizun alayhi ma'anittum all of those difficulties for you, his community, are hard for him sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam talk about middle passage, middle passage was difficult for him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was shown the works of our ancestors, our enslaved Muslim ancestors the good he saw, he praised Allah, therefore other than that, he sought Allah's forgiveness, and all of that difficulty that we experienced was hard for him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he was merciful and compassionate. Allahumma salli wa sallam barak alayhi wa alayhi, and divine mercy outstrips divine wrath. Right? So no matter how severe what we experience, and that's in the hadith of Muslim, and so Bukhari and Muslim, that when Allah created the creation, He had a, 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 a scroll or something upon which there was writing, come from beneath the throne, Rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. My mercy outstrips, or in a narration, ghalabat ghadabi. So no matter how much severity that you or I have experienced, or our people have experienced, these are manifestations of divine rigor in this world, in our case, we hope that it's uh, preparing us for ease in the next world. The manifestations of divine mercy outstrip those. So you and I are here in 1439, 2018, as Muslims, alhamdulillah wa shukrulillah ala dhalik.